What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. You know, there's very, very few things in life that warm my heart more than watching the woke destroy the woke. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It really helps, and I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into the big emergency news of the day. Oh my God! My former alma mater, the Westtown School, located in Westchester, Pennsylvania, will be introducing a new head of school uh, sooner than later. Yes, that's right. I got an email yesterday from the Board of Trustees stipulating that the current head of school, Tori Jueds, will be stepping down. Now, a little history on Tori Jueds. Exeter alumni, Harvard Law School alumni, also holds a degree in English and history from Harvard as well, I believe. A huge, huge liberal. And I'm talking like a full-blown, off-the-cliff liberal. I'm very honored to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America. Tory Jewett's uh, has been the head of school at the Westtown School for approximately four years, which in the really big scheme of things, in the world of headmasters and heads of school, that is like a speck of time. Most headmasters and heads of school stick around for 10, 15, sometimes 20 years. A four-year stint is really, I mean, that is just unheard of. The optics of her departure are really astounding. And we're going to get into that today. In the past year and a half, two years, the Westtown School has had a microscope put on it for a plethora of different reasons. And let me just say right out of the shoot here that uh, I love the school that I graduated from. Many of my friends, classmates, I'm still in contact with every single day. My experience at Westtown was uh, for all intents and purposes, it was amazing. Oh, no! 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 Felt really lucky to, to go there. That was a different time. Now things are just uh, evolving at such a rapid pace. Kind of shocking, to be honest. Um, getting back to the head of school, Tori Jueds, one thing that I saw as soon as she came into power and this might be um, something that happens uh, at boarding schools around the country. I mean, you guys can tell me uh, in the comments section. But Westtown has been around since 1799. I mean, there has been traditions passed down for a really long time. Uh, optically, what I saw is that as soon as she came into power, a lot of the traditions that had been around for 50, 60, 75, 100 years they were just thrown out the window. The first thing that comes to mind is that at the beginning of the school day, all the boys would go to one side of the school, all the girls would go to the other side of the school, and we would have separate homerooms, okay? One big room, separate homerooms, they were called, it was called collection. Collections were a thing of the past, male and female. Every morning they just had one big collection, and I believe in the auditorium. I mean, this is a tradition that has been passed down for a really, really long time, and just like that, gone. I understand one of the main reasons what was that it, it structurally was conducive to males and female females, but not uh, you know non-binary students and whatnot. I mean, how many non-binary students are there? I have no idea these days. But this is the thinking of uh, a madman. <laughs> You don't throw out a hundred years of tradition over the woke politics of the day or the woke bullet points of the day. 
I mean, this is just uh, insanity. And I'm going to read you something. I think that you will find this interesting. So this is directly off of the Westtown School's website, and it is a page long of an introduction by the head of school, Tori Jewett. And she basically points out three main things that the school is trying to achieve. Uh, number one and number two are seem you know very very normal. The third one we'll get to, and they're very quick. Let me share them with you. Our spiritual foundation, Westtown, is grounded in the Quaker understanding of the truth within, and enriched by religious diversity of our community. Every day, we want students to feel supported and empowered to let their inner light shine. Cool. That sounds that sounds fine with me. Number two. Our appreciation of intellectual curiosity and critical thinking. Our teachers cultivate joy in learning, encourage students to take risks and make mistakes, and equip them with real-life problem-solving skills for their own fulfillment and the betterment of the world. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. That makes sense. And number three. Our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We aspire daily to celebrate differences, affirm intersectional personal identities, cultivate cultural competency, and mitigate the detrimental effects of privilege by making privilege conscious. So let's dissect that a little bit. And I'm not going to go into number one and two. I think one and two are totally fine. But number three is interesting because if that is the third most important bullet point of your uh, strategic vision or mission for a school, I think that you're out of your mind. Now, I don't think that there's anybody that is going to rebuttal the fact that diversity, equity, inclusion, yeah, okay, cool, great, let's do it. I don't know if it's the third most important thing to put on an introduction of a school. And what is amazing is that this woke sense of direction, her guiding direction, I believe ultimately helped in the downfall of her being at West Ham. Now, you might ask, why is that? Well, I'm going to tell you why. About a year and a half, two years ago, there was an Instagram page that was started called Black at Westtown. And it was posts from black students at Westtown and how they felt that there was institutional racism there. They just felt like white faculty members um, didn't really know how to relate to them, uh, didn't know how to speak with them. And these are just posts on Instagram about African-American students and what it's like going there. And this caused an absolute firestorm there. And let me tell you something. When you are the head of an organization, a school, a company, when you're the boss and the buck stops with you, you have to take complete ownership everything that happens under your reign, period. I read a book by Jocko Willing. It's called Extreme Ownership. If you don't know Jocko Willing, he's a former U.S. Navy SEAL. When I heard that there was this going on at West Ham, it really made me think that, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this head of school is out the door. Within a year and a half or two years, I'm going to read you guys the email. She's gone. Now, naturally, the board of trustees will say that um, she's moving on to another experience, a bop, 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 you know, all the telltale signs of we let her go. Um, and I could be totally wrong, but it is such a coincidence uh, for someone to be climbing the administrative ladder, so to speak, only stay at a school for four years. And I'm going to read you the letter she put out where she said that it was not her choice. I should say that she did not seek change. Change sought her. But the optics of this are just amazing. You have this super woke head of school, and under her reign, the school just essentially ate her alive. It's amazing, really. I'm going to read you, read you the letter. Okay, so this is from the Board of Trustees. Pretty good. 
Dear friends, as the clerk of the Board of Trustees, I write to announce that Tori Jueds will step down as head of school at the close of the 2020-21 school year. Tori has accepted the opportunity to lead the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools and Nursery through Grade 12 Day School, founded by progressive educator John Dewey. Ba, 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 ba. Now, let's get to the resignation letter by Tori Jueds, which I find fascinating. Dear friends, since 2017, it has been my honor and joy to serve as West Town's head of school. It is bittersweet to share the news that on June 30th, 2021, I will lay down my work at our wonderful school to prepare for a new career and venture. Change is a reliable feature of our lives. The pandemic has provided daily reminders of this great truth and nothing else could. I was not seeking to make a change, but change found me. This summer, I will take up the role of director at the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools, which is basically a, not a high school, but it's a you know lower school, middle school, upper school in Chicago. Most, I think 50% of the students there, one of their parents teaches at University of Chicago. I mean, and it's a lot longer, and she goes into how she's proud about um, the strides that she has made, alumni relations, and diversity, and, and inclusion. Why on earth would you leave the school? You got a great gig. Uh, you got a cushy position. Well, I have an idea. Maybe because you better get out now because this is going to be a real stain on your resume. Well, sometimes when the boards of these schools are interviewing potential candidates for head of school positions, especially at West Town, um, they're a very PC school and very progressive. And I can only assume that she must have checked every single box that they had in mind. We hadn't had a female head of school in a while. I think three or four headmasters have gone before she came in. Um, they were all male. Boarding school grad, Exeter. Harvard grad. Uh, civil rights attorney in D.C. for a while. I mean, that just checks just about every box to think about it and held a stint at uh, Princeton University as well. But you know, sometimes when somebody from the outside comes in to take over the school, sometimes it's not a good fit. Just because they have the pedigree that you would want doesn't mean that they're a right fit for the school. Four years. Man, it's not a long time at all for a headmaster position. Guys, let me know your comments down below. I'd love, to, I'd love to hear a little bit about what you guys think about this. I'm actually pretty happy about it, to be quite honest. You know, they sent out a questionnaire audit about a month and a half, two months ago. And I made it very clear uh, in the survey when they asked me, I made it very clear that I wouldn't be donating one penny to that school until she's gone. And guess what? Within two months, out the door she goes. Now, is that a coincidence? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. But the optics of it are just amazing. Really amazing. Guys, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Until next time, see you soon.